Hey guys, it's Jacob from MyBioHack.com and today I want to talk to you about dangers of blue light and the benefits and how you can use it to your benefit and advantage and how to biohack using blue light and what to stay away from and all that good stuff. So, let's talk a little bit about blue light and where it first originated. So blue light is around 400 nanometers, which is on this, the, the electromagnetic spectrum and it's the last color to be shown uh, to be coined as a term, blue. We didn't have blue before. We had a, uh, in literature it was described as like a violet purple or deep purple or um, like Homer described it as that. Uh, it's been described as many different things but no one ever had a word for blue really until uh, more into to the modern age where we coined the term blue. Looking at the sky and the ocean and uh, having fluorescent lights. And blue is such a great tool that we've had that it's allowed us to uh, stay awake and see light at odd times of the day. Like being indoors and having bright light, being able to see that. Or being at night and still having blue light to see. Or just having cellular devices and laptops and things like that where we see all these blue lights. So you have blue light exposure pretty much everywhere. You're looking at an LCD screen, LED screen, uh, indoors with fluorescence, uh, looking at any kind of screen, a TV. Uh, so we're stuck in a blue light lit world. And it's kind of scary to think that we get very minimal exposure of every other wavelength where we're so heavy endowed, uh, endowed doused with uh, 400 to 500 nanometers, and sometimes a little bit below 400 nanometers. So we've got so much blue light on us and we get very little of the rest of the visible spectrum and very little bit of the rest of the spectrum in general that we're supposed to get, like infrared and ultraviolet and just just seeing red in general. So let's talk about a little bit about the dangers of blue light and then I'll tell you some ways you can protect yourself and some ways you can use blue light to your advantage to increase uh, some awesome abilities. Um, so let's get to it. So first of all, blue light, it inhibits and damages mitochondria and DNA. So it creates free radicals called reactive oxygen species. And your body naturally gets rid of reactive oxygen species. But when you're constantly exposed to that, then you have too much building up and too much free radical damage in the cell, in the mitochondria, in the endoplasmic reticulum, causing this fold of proteins and problems in uh, cellular stress. So we don't want that and that can cause cancer essentially. Altered, altered DNA and altered proteins is going to cause cancer because you're not going to get programmed the uh, cell death, apoptosis. So another downside of it is it can ruin your vision just like uh, it destroying cells and uh, mitochondria on your body, it can ruin the cells in your eyes. Uh, so it can decrease your ability for you to see. And there's a correlation, not a causation, but a correlation between myopia and glaucoma with blue light. So that's something to look out for. Blue light is also antimicrobial, which can be good and can be bad because it can help with psoriasis, but it can also kill bacteria when we don't want it to because we live in a symbiotic world where we want some bacteria on our skin, we want some bacteria uh, just in our, on our eyes, you've got a microbiome on your eyes, uh, and we just don't know how it affects our gut microbiome yet. So that, that needs to be studied. Here's where the bigger deals come in to play, where not like mitochondria damage isn't a big deal, but here's a bigger deal, is where blue light, it changes your circadian rhythm. So you've got your eyes, which are hooked up to your optic nerve, which is hooked up to your suprachiasmatic nucleus in your brain. And your suprachiasmatic controls your circadian rhythm, which is your eat, uh, eat, not eat, wake, uh, sleep kind of cycle, your whole, your whole uh, when you should eat, when you should fast essentially cycle and when you should uh, go to sleep and when you should have sex, all that kind of stuff. When your body should put on uh, fat and store fat and when it shouldn't and should burn it for energy. So blue light affects that in the suprachiasmatic nucleus because it tells the, the brain that it's daylight. Blue light tells the brain it's daylight. So it's always tells your brain 
to produce more ghrelin, more gastric acid, and be awake, which can be beneficial to be awake uh, during the proper time. But using it at night, you're constantly awake, and you're constantly being told to feed, and you're constantly being told to store fat, and you're constantly being told to do things which you're not supposed to be doing, especially at night when there's not naturally blue light. Another thing is because of that, it suppresses melatonin production. So blue light and green light as well suppress melatonin production in the brain. And melatonin has a plethora of benefits as well as just being the little hormone that will help you sleep better and clean out your brain while you sleep and also helps with serotonin balance and dopamine balance. Uh, but having blue light exposure, especially at night, will suppress that. So if you've ever had trouble sleeping at night and you're looking at your phone while you're screwing yourself over uh, because you're just telling your body to suppress the sleep hormone even more, then that's not good. And by messing up your circadian rhythm, you can pack on the pack on the pounds. You can gain more weight. So I've noticed that the more I work on my circadian rhythm and then train with blue light properly, the less uh, fat mass I have in my body and the more muscle mass I have in my body, just naturally with working the least amount as possible. Blue light can also increase cognition and it can increase mood, but. Before we get into that, let's talk about how you can protect yourself from blue light and when to use it properly. And then we'll talk about how you can use it to increase your cognition and your mood and enhance your circadian rhythm. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna block out blue light at night. And so that's using orange glasses to block out blue light or red glasses to block out both blue and green light. So that helps with melatonin production. So you're working on your circadian rhythm. You can also install Flux on your computer or Night Shift on an iPhone, which doesn't do it justice. You may want a, a actual filter, a uh, plastic filter on top, a red filter on top to block out the blue light. Uh, you can also install Twilight on your phone. And if you can't get Flux on your laptop or on your computer, you can also use uh, Iris, which is a pretty new um, blue light blocking app. Uh, for the computer. Now, to enhance your cognition, you can use a bright light device. And so that's a bright blue or full spectrum device uh, on your, your body. Uh, and the best time to use it is when you want to enhance cognition acutely, so not, not constantly, or you want to entrain your circadian rhythm, so which would be 15 minutes right at the beginning of the day. I use a natural bright light device. As you can tell right now, I'm enhancing my cognition so I can repeat all this information for you that I've studied. Uh, I'm using the sun. So you can use this to enhance your cognition because it's got tons of blue light, uh, along with the visible spectrum and UV and infrared. Uh, so it has a natural balance of light that will protect you and protect your eyes. Or for circadian rhythm and training, you can use 15 minutes right in the beginning of the day of the sun, or you can get a bright light device. And I'll have links to all these different things along with the full article so you can learn the benefits of blue light and how you can protect yourself fully uh, with in-depth mechanisms so you can actually understand and get the, the proper devices uh, which help the best. So I'll have all that in the description below. Or it's in the description below because this is a pre-recorded video now. So that's using blue light to your advantage and how to make blue light your beep. So thanks guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you think someone else could use this and help their insomnia, help their cognition, help their weight just by changing a few little uh, minor lifestyle habits and can can help their eyesight and things like that then share this to your friend to a family member who you think needs it so thanks guys for watching and stay beautiful